In this video, I wanted to do a quick review of this new Valley of Vision in premium goatskin leather that was released by Banner of Truth or published by Banner of Truth um, in December of 2020. Now, I was pretty excited for this edition. Um, for any of you who have owned and used the Valley of Vision for a long time, you know that this bonded leather edition has always been your um, greatest option in comparison to the paperback version they have, as well as the free online archives of the Valley of Vision on Banner of Truth's website. So this has always held a, you know, a sweet spot in a lot of people's lives, and a lot of people have bought this and use it daily, or at least own it and reference it occasionally. So I was pretty excited to see a much more sturdy, durable, more premium version of the Valley of Vision being released. So I was quite eager to get my hands on it. Um, just as a disclaimer, this was not a free copy sent to me for the sake of a review, so I really don't have anything to gain um, by flattering this edition, and I don't really have anything to lose by being honest. So I hope you find this review very helpful and thorough and honest um, in making your decision on either purchasing the Goatskin edition and upgrading this one, or just in buying the Valley of Vision in general. If you're stumbling upon this video because you're interested in buying the Valley of Vision for the first time, um, I am one who would personally recommend it for a tool to enrich your prayer life, to offer guidance and to inform the content of your prayer. And why would I say that? Uh, because the Valley of Vision is uh, a volume full of Puritan prayers taken from noteworthy Puritan figures whether colonial Puritans in America or English Puritans. You know, J.C. Ryle once said about the Puritan John Owen, he said that John Owen had more learning and sound knowledge of Scripture in his little finger than others have in their whole bodies. And I think what he said of John Owen is true of the Puritans in general in comparison to us. The Puritans were tremendously godly. The Puritans were tremendously zealous for the glory of God. They were tremendously zealous for the gospel. They were tremendously thorough and zealous in what sanctification and godliness looked like um, as authorized or warranted or explained or directed by God's inerrant word. So I love the Puritans. And if, if, if Christianity, especially Reformed Christians or Protestants, had a class of heroes, it would hands down be the Puritans. So you'll see some of the prayers have been taken from Richard Baxter, David Brainerd, the missionary to um, the Indians. This gentleman, um, his journal, his diary, his letters were actually published by Jonathan Edwards in whose house he died in. Some of these prayers are taken from John Bunyan, the famous author of The Pilgrim's Progress and Grace Abounding. Some other notable figures that you'll probably know is Thomas Shepard, C.H. Spurgeon, the Prince of Preachers, the famous Baptist preacher, Augustus Toplady, famous hymn writer that has written some and authored some awesome hymns that Reformed believers still sing today. Um, some prayers are taken from Thomas Watson and Isaac Watts. I mean, these are some awesome, notable figures to have um, some prayers taken from. Now, Again, the Valley of Vision, the goal of the Valley of Vision is not that you would take their prayers and just repeat them and reread them in a sense like we are pagans or Roman Catholics, but rather I think in the introduction itself, the goal of this is to inform your prayer life, to direct your prayer life in regards to the content. It is not something to be vainly re repeated, so to say, as though it's a magical formula, but it's a helpful guide and tool to enrich your prayer life. If we're being honest, our prayer life is prone towards vain repetition. Our prayer life is prone towards self-centeredness. Um, and our prayer life is also prone towards wallowing in our sin, being tremendously discouraged in who we are, being tremendously discouraged um, without Christ and his glorious gospel in view. So that's why I love the Valley of Vision. If I could brag about its content tremendously, it would be for that sake that it keeps in view the glory of the triune God, the Father who elected his people in eternity past, the same Father who loved them and sent his Son to die on their behalf, to magnify his law both in its precepts 
and in its penalty. And the Valley of Vision also directs us to the work of the Holy Spirit in us, the one who applies this purchase redemption to us, who enables us to cry out, Abba, Father, and to live a holy and godly and upright life, being empowered and energized by the Spirit as the Spirit of God shines a spotlight on Jesus Christ. So without further ado, if that is not enough to convince you to buy the Valley of Vision, or at least to use it in your prayer life, then nothing else will. The goat skin, the bonded leather, the gold page edges, none of that is enough to motivate you, apart from those things that I just mentioned. So this new edition, I was pretty impressed that it came in a new box. Um, this other one was simply wrapped in plastic and in paper, which was really appropriate for the price tag. So for the bonded leather edition, which has always been available, and many of you are aware and own this one, this one is going to run you between $18 and $25. Now this new goatskin edition is going to run you about $94 to $105. For a lot of us who own premium Bibles, a lot of us who have touched goatskin or have are familiar with the different goatskins that are available, you might be initially asking, is this goatskin like the other goatskins that I know? I was hoping it would be you know, more soft, maybe more forgiving, more flexible, but it really is not um, like the other goatskins that are available from either R.L. Allen, Skyler, uh, a premium Crossway, or Nelson Bible. This goatskin kind of feels like a very high-end Carhartt wallet, and it smells like it as well. And maybe that has to do with what they treated it with. But initially, I noticed that it's a very stiff goatskin, and it's definitely an upgrade from this bonded leather edition, but again, it is not like a premium Bible that you might be familiar with. So this new edition, overall, the size is a little bit bigger. Goatskin has a, what we would call a generous yap or an overhang to protect the golden page edges, where this one did not seem to have that. But overall, on the inside, the text block is the same. The content is identical. There's nothing different or upgraded about the actual content, paper, pages, or anything. It is all identical. You are simply paying for the upgraded goatskin and the added ribbons. Now, on the cover we have here, the Valley of Vision. They've upgraded the font, made it a little bolder in this newer edition. They've changed these emblems, as you can see. On the spine, you can really see the overall size. It's bigger. But on this new edition, we have four raised hubs. It still says the Valley of Vision, but those new upgraded emblems. George Whitfield logo, Banner of Truth. These aren't coming in clear. I'll insert some photos when I upload it. Now this one is perimeter stitched. And on the cover, nothing on the back. The old edition has bonded leather. Let's open them up. Now this one, and I think this might give credit to why it's not so forgiving and flexible or soft as I might hope, the inside liner I don't think is a calfskin by any means, nor is it genuine leather. It feels just like a synthetic liner, which really makes it not so forgiving in my opinion. Now on the inside, they added this decorative art gilt line, which is not here on the old bonded leather paste down edition. Now that's one of the features you'll get in a premium Bible is, and I'm referencing premium Bibles a lot because a lot of folks who are looking at this goatskin edition have experience with premium Bibles. Now on, I love this simple, modest gilt line. I personally am not a fan of this repeated pattern here, this one that they chose to repeat here. And maybe I'm ignorant of the history of this pattern Someone please educate me and inform me if I am. But I'm personally not a fan of it. I think it looks tacky and distracting. I wish they had just gone with something more subtle, such as this. Because this subtle one complements it enough, the fact that it's added in there. Now, as you open it, you'll see they are both, again, like I said, identical. None of the content is different. There's a presentation page. All of the pages are identical. 
Um, what I love about this new edition is that they kept all of these blank pages for notes, for your own room to write as you wish in regards to your devotional time or your prayer life. I use it to include the Lord's Prayer and the Ten Commandments, um, a helpful guide for morning and evening prayer that I use, helpful scripture citations, helpful quotes from um, other believers that have assisted me or helped me. So I am a fan of all this blank space that they keep in here. Now, something you might be wondering is, does this goatskin lay flat, lay open? Well, it seems to on the middle of the, the middle of the block. But does it do it on the front? Not so much. But neither did the bonded leather. This one is damaged on the spine from using it over the years. So it does lay flat now, but it didn't when I got it. Um, so, just to kind of steal the thunder and your disappointment there, this one does not lay flat as you might be, as your expectations might be wanting it to. Now, I think my favorite upgrade on this is the two ribbon markers compared to the old one. Now, I think the Genuine Leather Edition as well as the Goatskin both have two ribbon markers. I honestly don't care if it's a New Testament Psalms and Proverbs. One ribbon marker just is not enough. So, good job, Banner of Truth, on upgrading that version there, or that, that feature there. As I was saying earlier, um, I don't think the text block in any way was upgraded in this new edition. They both have same content and the gold page edges is the same on this edition as it will be and was on this edition. This might be a good view of what it looks like over years of use and how it wears. But I think in closing, um, if you're a constant user of the Valley of Vision and Bonded Leather, yes, you should upgrade to the Goatskin. It's going to wear and tear much better. Um, it looks gorgeous. It looks beautiful. It's wrapped in something that I think is really worthy of its content and its benefit to believers. Um, if you are, for the first time, looking for the Value of Vision and the $100 price tag scares you, pick this one up for $18 to $25. Bucks. You will still be thrilled with it. But thou didst not leave me so. Oh, yeah.